the whole ethos of the school is to be sustainable. For instance, we're part of the Food for Life project, which um, works with our school meal service, the tuck shop that we provide for the children. In addition to that, we've got our gardens and our chickens. We use the produce from the chickens, we sell the eggs, the tomatoes that the children have grown, we've used that to make um, tomato chutney that we sell to the parents. We've got eggs in our boxes that we collect from the chickens. And we, and we go to sell them at, at the end of the week, which is Friday. We feed them corn and we feed them any fruit and vegetables that are left over during the school day or the school week. Um, apples, pears, broccoli, all, all types of vegetables and fruits. Sometimes when some of the eggs lay, some are warm and some are cold. And some are very spotty. And sometimes when people don't collect them, um, they break. So we ask they put them in the compost when they, they break. Food for Life is an organisation that encourages children in schools to um, help them eat healthier food. The Food for Life project has had a tremendous impact in the whole of our school community. Not only the children, but the parents and the community around our school. We employed our own cook and catering staff within the kitchen. We saw a huge difference then in the meals that we were providing for the children and this has impacted on the children's lifestyles, their well-being and how they're feeling. How many children are visiting the tuck shop, Petrov? In the morning is 200 and in the afternoon when the infants are there is at least 60. Myself and Alex, we, um, we work in a tuck shop and we sell healthy stuff like fruit flakes. What cheese would you like? Can I have some cheddar? The children here at Chestnuts are very happy, especially in the midday when they're having their lunch. We're finding that they're spending much longer discussing their food, talking with their friends during the lunchtime period, and, and that has been a tremendous positive influence on our children because they go outside, they play happily with other children in the playground, and they come into the lessons much more focused. In January, our creative curriculum looks at different countries throughout the world and we've linked our school menus into the foods from those countries. And parents do come into school when it's the food of their country and they come in and eat with their children. Currently, we're 32% organic food and we're 40% locally sourced food. Obviously, the best way of assessing its effectiveness is what's in the dustbin. And when I started the scheme, the dustbin was full every day. The dustbin is barely a quarter full. At the end of the day, the cooks only empty the bin once. I'm very glad that, that many more children, particularly children who are entitled to a free school meal, are actually taking up their, their meal option and are, are, are enthusiastic to eat the meal. The meals look good. The, you know, the vegetables are, look like vegetables. They're not sort of grey on a plate. They're, they've been steamed instead of boiled to death. Um, the food is, is, is very, very much more appetising. And it's been a huge um, educational curve for the catering services staff as well. And they've responded really, really well to that. So we're looking at setting up a kitchen charter in terms of um, you know, much more sustainable use in the kitchen, which is things like locally sourced produce, um, making sure we compost everything in the kitchen, reducing energy um, use in the kitchen, so putting your lids on your saucepans, and you know, simple measures like that. Um, so that's our, the kind of next thing is to have this green charter for the, for the kitchens and hopefully that will be rolled out across all the Herringay schools as well. The other main difference is the children's own awareness of what is healthy and what is not. As a school we would say to all other schools that it's been tremendous value for us and the impact of taking over our in-house catering has been astronomical to the benefits that it's provided us as a school and actually it wasn't that difficult.